What is up, fam? This is FSD Supervised 1255, and guess where we are? We are in the heart of San Francisco, and we are gonna be doing Lombard Street. We're gonna hit Lombard Street, and we're gonna drive around and just see how the Cybertruck does in San Francisco. So hopefully you can enjoy, um, you can enjoy the ride and see how it handles real time with me. Um, but I couldn't be more excited about um, this drive. It's been something I've been meaning to get up to. And now with FSD here, uh, it's perfect because now, um, you know, FSD's here with my Cybertruck. Now I can put this thing to the test. So we're gonna see how 1255 does in San Francisco. Um, and we're gonna go from there. So looking forward to it. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, um, and be notified on these uh, these drives. So hopefully we can get it into some good situations today to uh, keep you all um, in tune. So, all right, here comes the, the drive. We're just gonna go through that light. All right, so we, um, so it's green up there, but there is a car up here on the right. So we're gonna see how well this just navigates it. All right, so it's actually gonna get over in the lane. So that is amazing. Just got over. We'll make sure to put that into a cool short, but it went around it, it knew. All right, so we're gonna go up and see. So it's around 10 a.m. A little bit, you know. Um, uh, you know, there's there will be some traffic during this time. Uh, it can be pretty busy. So, all right. So it went through the light. It was yellow up here. So this is really like probably my second drive with FSD supervised in the Cybertruck. Um, you know, I've done some other drives in my Model X with uh, 1254, uh, but this is really, you know, kind of another stress test. Um, I've been driving it here and there. Um, I have been driving it here and there really like kind of around home and stuff, um, but taking it up to San Francisco is, you know, is gonna definitely add a whole new experience to it. So it looks like it's, you know, it's busy in San Francisco, but it's not like slammed um, like it can be on some days. Right, wow, so see, it went straight through that intersection. It knew to stay in the lane here. So it looks like we are going through, we're over by uh, the San Francisco Public Library. So 
So, you know, like I said, there's, um, so in this situation, it looks like we may get stuck in the middle here, but it's gonna know to potentially get out, get out of the lane. So, so it's gonna go into the middle lane. There was actually starting to be people walking across the street. So it's really good that intuitively it knew to do that. <laughs> on the Insta360 side, uh, you can just check out uh, all of the people uh, just checking out the truck. <laughs> uh, these people out on the right, it's awesome. These people right here they are looking at the subtruck all right so this is really interesting so you have a two cars on the side it knows to go through the middle lane there's even like a small little thing over here like kind of like a warning sign uh, handle that like a champ So this car on the right was getting close, um, you know, it was kind of coming over just because, you know, there's probably some other stuff over there. So I'm going to move it up to 25 miles an hour. We're about a mile away from Lombard's Street. Looks like we may be going um, through uh, Chinatown or, uh, you know, some of these other historic towns. Yeah, I think this is Chinatown. All right, we're going to go through this right now. The one interesting thing that you will get here um, in San Francisco is going to be, you know, randomly people just like walking in the middle of the street. Um, you know, so homelessness and all that stuff is all stuff that FSD will need to be aware of. And, you know, I'm fully confident that it'll, it'll do that. So here again, you have this person out on the right, people on the left, but they're all they're all ready to walk. So, so this is interesting. Both sides are, I think, a little bit more open, but here we are. So it's a red light, it's coming to a stop. All right, so we're starting to get up some, uh, some streets here. Come to a halt over here. All right, so we are stopped here. We're waiting for the light to turn green and then we're gonna be going. So this is the road that we'll be tackling right here. One of the windiest roads that I know of. Um, and I think it's even in the world, it's one of the windiest roads. So we will see how full self-driving handles that little section. So I'm really excited for it. So we have a situation up here where there is a uh, mailman in the middle of the road and it's gonna it's already navigating around so that is 
that's one of those things where it's there's no traffic there so it, it knew to move over which is what you want to see here So we're coming up to a stop sign. All right, so we're at a four way stop. Um, I only see a bus up here on the left. There's a person on the right who's coming across, but uh, not in our purview because we're going straight. Shout out to the Waymo right here. That's pretty, pretty insane that that is even happening. There's a car out here on the right. There's some people over here as well. All right, we're at another four-way stop. No action here. <sighs> four-way stop here. We have a bus out here on the left, two people on the right. So what's interesting here is the bus has the right-of-way. So in this situation, I would have gone. Uh, I would not have waited for the bus to go, but I think in, you know, with FSD, it waited for the bus to go first um, because they had the right of way at least when it pulled up. But all right, so we're going to go through this light. We're going to make it through, it looks like. four-way stop there's no action up here and then when I get up here again there's a four another four-way stop all right so it looks like this car is going this model Y is going as well went but when we get up here um, I'm gonna have to disengage and re-engage it so that it, to make sure that it goes down the street um, but all right so another four-way stop here that car in front of us is going I don't see anybody else but those streets are pretty pretty insane all right so we've got two more stop signs I believe So we're gonna get to the stop sign. Uh, it's gonna make a right. Um, and then, oh, looks like it is blocked. All right, well, looks like we will not be able to, to, go, down, to go down that. Let's see. I'm just gonna ask this cop. Is Lombard Street shut down? Hold on like 10 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. All right, so you heard it from uh, the, the cop. Uh, looks like um, this is closed for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna, I guess, loop around um, and do some testing around here. All right, so this is a four-way stop. We are gonna, all right. So you can see this really tight situation that we're in. Going down some of these streets. Look, there's even this car over here. That's crazy.
craziness. I'm wondering if I should just go here. It's obviously going to make a left, but... All right, so we're at a four-way stop. You have this lady here, um, and then a dog across the street. A dog and a human across the street. So it's waiting for them to go all the way across. And it's gonna go. All right, so we're at a, another four-way stop. There's cars out here on the right. There's a Model Y in front of us. It's gonna make the left-hand turn. So look at this, this is like insane. So it is making a left and look at this, people are literally like walking and it's it's slowly waiting for them and then it's gonna go. So we're waiting for those people to go by and then we're going around. It's a little little close to that, that car, I'm not gonna lie. Um, all right, so then we even have the people over here So we're going to be making a right here. So this is interesting. Look at this. <laughs> this is like, this is San Francisco for you. It's like going around. It's like just cars in the middle of the road. Hey, let's just go around. That is crazy. All right. So here, all right, we're going to make a left. This is a four way stop. We have movers out here on the left and then people cross street. So technically I believe, okay, so these guys, it's not turning because of these people out here on the left. So I'm gonna press the accelerator a little bit so that it can go. So I just wanna showcase, like look at how difficult it is to indicate what you see in front of here. You have literally the trolley uh, lanes, you have the, the yellow, the white. So the fact that it's able to um, figure out which one is which is, is huge. Um, so I wanna call that out, huge shout out to Tesla to be able to figure all of that out. And here we are, literally stopped on the side of a hill. <laughs> you can see the ocean kind of in, fr in front of us. And this is, this is doing it. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. It's really, really cool. Uh, this is how it how complex it can get. All right, so it's I'm gonna have to hit the accelerator a little bit. I don't know why it kind of it kind of paused there, but all right, we're gonna be making a right. This looks like it's not a four-way stop. It's you know you got four four lights. So then you have people out here. Okay, so it looks like. The light just turned green and so now um, these people are coming across so it's stopping this is this is exactly what you want all right they're gone and now it's going All right, so this lady is coming out. And then you have like these, all these cars up here just kind of stuck. So this is great.
this car is going to make a left. Then we're going to be making a left at this light as well. No one's around, so it's going to should be able to make a clean left here. Looks like we're able to. All right, so it's a red light here. And I think let's just go this way. All right, so we're going to be making a left. Hopefully, Lombard Street is closed down. Or it has opened up. to a four-way stop here let's see I don't see any of these pedestrians there's there's one person right here who may be waiting it's gonna go so People out here still pulling out their phones for the Cybertruck. You can't see it, but it still happens. I can't believe that this is like, it's just able to handle this no problem. <sighs> People only knew that this thing was driving itself. They would freak out. Oh man, it's crazy. So we're making it right here. Again, just like random cars on the road and it's, so this will be interesting. Look, look at this. So, oh my goodness, this thing is navigating. There's other cars here and it's navigating by itself with cars there. That is crazy. <laughs> There's a car in the middle of the road, a bunch of people moving. There's even oncoming traffic and it was able to navigate through all that. All right, so we're gonna make a left here.
So we'll see if um, we'll see if this road is cleared up. Otherwise, uh, it looks like it's not cleared up. Okay. So we're gonna keep waiting. All right. I'm gonna have to disengage here. Um, but yeah. Uh, we'll pick up. I'm gonna wait a little bit until this clears up, and and we'll get back to it. 